Well, welcome again. I am so happy to have this class again. And the purpose of this class uh, is to introduce you to, to the class uh, for this semester. Uh, but we are also using a different method. Uh, some of you might already have uh, an experience in uh, using uh, web conference. Maybe you have joined some place uh, before, but most of you have not. And as um, educational leaders of the future, I think it is important for you to have this experience. And so let's go ahead and, and get started. And I would like to ask uh, somebody uh, to offer opening prayer for us. If you are in a location that is convenient uh, for you to, to say a prayer out loud, uh, would you please uh, type your name uh, in the chat room? And so I can unmute your mic. Okay, Nathan. Okay, Nathan came in very early today and actually got a prize uh, for doing that. And so thank you for volunteering to say a, pray uh, uh, say a prayer too. Okay, um, your mic should be unmuted now. Uh, can can you say something, Nathan? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Our dear kind Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this day and grateful for the opportunity we have to be able to participate in this um, online class. And we ask that thou please bless Dr. Chan that he'll be able to uh, teach us and help us to understand everything that we need to do for the course this year. and. I mean, this semester, and that we may be able to understand. We love thee so very much. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And thank you very much, Nathan. Um, now, in the beginning of this class, I would like to introduce you to Alex. Uh, Alex is the new TA for this class, uh, and um, uh, he is in the lab too. And, and uh, most of you do, do not uh, know him because he's not an education major but um, he is very technology savvy and we are uh, glad to have uh, his help. And so if Alex, you are there, if you can walk around the lab and so that they know you, you are a real person and uh, you can, you know, uh, wave. And, and so those of uh, uh, the students who are in this class will, will wave back to you. They are all very friendly. So um, we're glad to have Alex help. Okay. Now, our class website is this one. It, is, uh, it looks you know, similar to the one that uh, we have before. Oh, before we get to the class, I want to introduce to, to you this tool that I am using right now. This tool is called GoToMeeting or GoToTraining. I'm using the high-end version, uh, which if I'm going to pay for it, it costs over $300 a month. And as a poor professor at BYU, I'm not going to pay for that. And so I'm just using the trial version. And um, uh, uh, the, but the, uh, the, the lower end version, go to meeting, is only, uh, I think, um, about $30 a month. And, and um, I do have a license for that, but it allows me to uh, contact uh, like, like have all, all up to only 25 people and so it won't work for this uh, class and that's why I use this now so if you ever have a need you know to um, connect to multiple people you can also do something similar with Skype Skype has a, um, a premier uh, version that you pay about $50 a year and allows you to have web conference with multiple people, but it also allows you to get up to only 25 people too. And um, so uh, it, it is still limited. And, and uh, so if you are doing this for business, uh, you may need to consider more powerful tools like th this one that I'm using. So right now on your screen, I have a screen capture of the the, my, my side of this tool, it, it shows you what I can do uh, uh, as, uh, uh, using this tool. Um, I can share my screen and I can have a timer and so uh, I can time you know, how fast my training is going and, and, and how much each section is taking. 
And uh, the dashboard allows me to see you know, all the tools that are available uh, for this uh, program. And I'll be able to see that list of all the participants. Now, you remind, uh, remember, you, know, you, you have to register for this class period in order to come in. And so that, that's why well, after you have registered, when you log in, then I'll be able to see your name. And this is very useful if I am doing this uh, you know, in a professional settings. And I'll be able to unmute uh, an individual's uh, microphone. And so like in uh, the case just now, I unmute Nathan's microphone so he was able to talk and everybody would be able to hear him. And some of you actually pre uh, you know, type back and say amen too. That's, that's very cute. That's very nice. And uh, for the audio part, it allows people to either call in using the telephone or using um, uh, the, the, the internet. And, um, and so that was really, really helpful. And in my case, right now, I'm just using the computer to talk to you. But if I'm in a place where uh, I, uh, the internet connection is not very good, maybe I just use the computer for the screen sharing and uh, I will use the telephone uh, for the audio so that I can uh, limit the bandwidth that is uh, using uh, 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 for this presentation. And the webcam allows me to see, uh, uh, share you know, my screen, uh, my, my face, <laughs> so that you can see me. Um, and the materials is a part where if uh, I'm doing a training again, I can share PDF documents or uh, the other type of you know word documents, any things that I want to share electronically, I can upload there ahead of time, and so the students can download it. And I can do some posts and tests, uh, tests, and I will be doing that uh, uh, later in this class. And and then you know it has this chat room, so students can continue to chat to each other, or they can chat to the whole class, or they can chat to uh, with me privately, and so. These are some uh, some of these features are standard, you know, in all the tools that that you find out there. But uh, the posts and tests and the materials, uh, these two are pretty specific for this uh, particular go to training version. And uh, when people are doing a lot of web uh, 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 type of uh, training, they may need to pay for it, you know, in order to use these features. Okay, so this is a quick introduction to you and so that you know uh, if you ever need to do a, 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 a meeting like, like this, you know, live uh, on the internet, you, you, you can consider. Now, so as I said, uh, I want to do some polls, uh, polls and, and tests. And so I will go ahead and send out the first poll now. Okay, and launch poll. Okay, so on your screen, you should see a poll. And go ahead and select an answer and click submit. Okay. As you can tell, this uh, this poll is very serious. Okay, you need to take it very seriously and seriously consider one of these answers. Okay, and I am getting 50% of the votes. And uh, okay, many of the votes are coming back. It looks like the Answers are pretty even. Come on, come on, quicker. Okay, answer. Eighty-four percent. I almost have everyone now. Ninety percent. Okay. Um, on my screen, actually, show me how long it has been taking. You know, for people to take the road to, and so it's almost a minute. Okay. So I am going to close the poll now, and uh, let's see, share results. Okay, so this is the result. So most of you have a, oh, okay, break, good to be back to school. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, uh, nobody is married, uh, got, oh, no, no, we do have 5%. Hey, I just got married, beat that. Okay, so uh, that's good. But uh, unfortunately, you know, some of you also think that uh, what break? I haven't had one yet. So, okay, well, hopefully this semester uh, will be the, the better for you. Okay, now so this is a, a poll feature. Let me see. Um, okay, let's do one more poll. Okay, launch poll. Okay, answer this. Let's see if you can answer quickly. And so we can move to... Uh, 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 the, the next activity. Now you notice that uh, 
the the poll features for this program is more limited. It's not like the poll everywhere that we used in the last uh, uh, class period uh, last semester. Uh, it, it only have posts like this, so it's quite limiting. But if you are using, for example, Skype or other uh, 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 lower-end end products, maybe you don't need to use their poll feature. You just go ahead and, and use poll everywhere and then have uh, and, and just share your screen. And after you share the screen, you can still have people go to that poll everywhere and, and do, do the polls and, and you can still share the, the results. Okay, so I'll go ahead and close the poll and share the results okay so actually more than half of you are at home or uh, at your workplace and only 19% of you are in the lab okay so the good okay and many of you are on campus too so this is the poll feature and uh, after I do the poll I, I think I can also uh, view the results later too okay Quick introduction. This that, that was the quick introduction to uh, the online tool. Uh, well, what well, this whole lesson is synchronous. Okay, that synchronous means it is synced together. Means it is happening at the same time, and so this class is called synchronous. And in the past, when you are taking the you know online demo and learning those things fr uh, from me from this class, uh, for the most part they are asynchronous. That means they are not happening at the same time, uh, but they are still online. Both are virtual, both are online, but one is synchronous, one is uh, asynchronous. Okay, uh, it would be good for you to, to learn those terms and so you are more savvy and when you read literature, you know what they are talking about. So we have done these two now, okay, the during class. And so let's talk about, you know, what is happening, uh, what, what we need to do, you know, for this class. Now, for this first class period, I've, I, want you, I want to take you back to last semester. One of the last activities that you have done is to, to look at each other's website and, and evaluate it. Okay? Now, I want to give you an opportunity to respond to those uh, 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 feedback that you have received from your colleagues. And, um, and, and I'll, I'll teach you how to modify your website. And um, to do that, I will use my uh, demo websites again. Okay, I'll use this one. Now, in this website, you notice that on the left hand side, right here, you have these triangles, right? What do these triangles mean? Okay, you can type in your, your chat room, you know, the chat box, okay? Anyone tell me? Okay, yeah, the subpages. Okay, when I click on this uh, triangle, it shows me the subpages under this menu item. Okay, but uh, what I would I always like to do is to close these triangles, and so when people come to my website, they don't see a, a long, you know, menu like like this, and it, it becomes very confusing, very overwhelming, and so I would like you to do the same thing. Okay, to to be to to close all the. Uh, all, all the uh, triangles and so when people come to your website it, they, they will just see the 10 standards okay and the way to do that is to log into your web page okay like in this case I'm logged in now okay you just need to close all the triangles and after that then then just leave okay whatever however you you have leave it um, as as it is uh, that's how people are going to see it so if you go to my uh, th this web page right now, okay, this website now, you'll find that all these triangles are closed. But me, as the owner of this site, after I've logged in, if I have left it open like this, when, when people, you know, when I get out of this website, when people come into this website, that's how they, are, they will see it too. They will see this sub page, you know, sub menu item also open, you know, right there. Okay. So you don't, you don't want, want them to, to, to do that. Okay. You want to close it. And so you're only showing the 10 standards. Okay. This is one of the assignments that I want you to do. So be sure to, to do that. Okay. Number two is when I look at this website, on the left hand side right here, my, my menu items seem to be a little bit uh, crowded. Uh, uh, it will be better if, if my, my menu uh, area here you know, on the left hand side is a little bit wider so that all these menu items are just in, in one line. Okay? Now to do that, it is actually quite easy. Uh, all I have to do is to go to More 
and then edit site layout. And after that, when I come in here, I just click on, you know, this little pencil. Whenever you see the pencil, you know that it allows you to edit it, right? And, uh, and uh, right now, it allows me to choose whether I want my menu, item, menu bar to be on the left or on the right. I think I like it on the left. Um, and then the width, what it now is 175 pixels. As you, um, I think most of you know that pixels means the little dots on the screen. On your screen, all the graphics are actually just made by little dots. And um, the, the more dots it is, um, the, the, uh, the more detail it shows. And also in this case, the wider it is. And so instead of 175, um, I am going to put in 240 and let's see how it goes. Okay, looks like um, if I put uh, down 240, it will be able to show all the words that I, I have in my menu. Okay, and in this case, I do want to be able to show all those, uh, the names of the, all those 10 standards. And so I'm going to leave it as 240. And the reason why I know it is 240 because I've already tried it. So I know 240 will, will work in my case. In your case, you may want to just uh, try the different size, uh, the different pixels to see which number will will, be, uh, will work for you, okay? And um, so uh, let me look at some of the questions here. Heidi asks, you know, if uh, we need to make it wider. Uh, my my answer to you um, uh, is that uh, you you go ahead and look at your menu to see um, what what makes uh, uh, it. Uh, uh, Make, makes most sense to you, okay? If you think that the left bar is going to look too fat, okay? My next um, uh, tool uh, that I'm going to show you will actually uh, help you adjust a little bit, you know, of the, the whole whole web page, okay? Um, okay. So yeah, the main idea is that we want the menu bar to look good. We, we don't want it to look very crowded. And for the most part, in this case, I think it will look good if it is just one line. And, and um, for assignments, I do want you to show everything on, on one, one line or every menu item in one line. And so um, I, I can be sure to know that you, you know how to do it. Later, at the end of the semester, if you want to change it back to a different size that, that you want, you can do that. But for these assignments, I want every item to be on one line, okay? Now, the next thing I want to show to you is um, also relating to um, edit uh, size layout. Once you click on edit size layout, you see that um, there are several things that you can choose, uh, you can change. Um, like for on top, you can choose to see uh, uh, whether you want to show the header. I, I think most people want to do that. Want to, uh, sh whether you want to show the horizontal navigation, and, and you have to show that in your case because you have some items here. And sidebar, and also customize uh, the custom uh, footer. If you go to the back, the, the footer at uh, the bottom of the screen now, you see that these are standard footers, okay? If you want to click on custom footer, you'll be able to, um, uh, to, to change it, you know, right here, okay? You, you see where it says uh, the class name and, and McKay school and all that. You can change that, okay? You can put your own name and, and other things on it. And you can also, uh, let me go back because I'm sharing my screen and so it keep on jumping, but it shouldn't be jumping like uh, like this in your screen. Uh, but you can also edit this uh, system footer, okay? You can add additional items there if you like, or take items out. And on top here, um, right now the site width is theme default, okay? Now you notice on my sites right here, it has some blank space on both sizes. And I think your sites also are like this, okay? Because this is the default design of this, this site. But if I don't want like that, I, I want it to be 100%, like just now Heidi was asking, you know, um, uh, the, the, the left uh, uh, bar may be too, too fat, you know, maybe you want the, the, whole, the whole screen to be a little wider so that the left side is not appear to be so fat. And uh, then what you can do is to click on custom and then use 100%. And I'll show you 
how it would look like you know when I click on 100% uh, it's not doing it yet let me see okay let me do it one more time 100% No, oh, it's not doing it uh, probably because I, I am sharing my screen. Okay, uh, what it usually uh, should do is that when I click on 100% and click close, it will move the entire website all the way, you know, to to the end of the, uh, the your your browser screen, and and so it will take up the whole space instead of leaving space uh, on on both sides. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and try that on your uh, on your computer too? Yeah, it seems like it is working for McKinsey, and I think it it uh, probably work uh, for all of you except except me. You know, um, now another thing that I would also want to show is to how to change the the header here. I I think my header right here is taking up taking up too much space. You see how how much white space it has, and so I'm going to change that. All I have to do is to just uh, need to click on that, and then you notice that it is taking a hundred and fifteen pixel. Uh, I think that's too much. Maybe I'll try fifty pixel, okay, and then click OK. All right, yeah, it looks much better, okay. And also, I don't like it to be in the middle. I like it to be on the side. And so I am going to do the standard, okay, which is which means uh it jump back to the okay, let me do it one more time. Click OK. Let's see, you know how, how it moved to, to the side. Oh, this is the standard uh, uh the uh, way that it's supposed to look, okay? And so this is how you change the, the header bar. And you can also change the horizontal navigation. Okay, right now you know you, you have already learned how to put the different uh, 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 items pages to show in a uh, horizontal navigation, and uh, you can also change it to look uh, uh, boxes or links only or, or tabs. Links sometimes make it hard to hard to see, but um, you know tabs or uh, boxes generally will work. Okay, I'll, I'll leave my as tabs. Okay, now so this is how you change the the layout you know of your uh, website, and uh, some of you already know how to change the background, and so I won't go through that. Uh, to change the background, you you go to I believe manage sites. Okay, we'll we'll talk talk more about that a little later. Okay, let's see if there's any question here. Um, now, okay, good question. Is this the optional? Okay, do you have to make these changes? Um, for the, the assignments, yes, I do need you to uh, make some of the changes so that I know how you, uh, the, the, how uh, you, I, I know that you know how to do it. But later in the semester, if you want to change it back, you know, you don't like the way that it looks, you want to change it back, that's fine, okay? Um, I'll show you for our assignments. I want you to revise your website uh, to make it more professional and attractive. Respond to each of the comments in your peer evaluation page. Um, and so what that means is you go back to your peer evaluation page and actually uh, put type, type in some, some feedback uh, responding to what other people say. And you don't not only uh, uh, write in text, but you actually do you know make changes to your website according to what other people suggest to you? Okay, and um, your website must have the following features: close triangles, change the width so that each item appear on the same line, like what I just said. You also need to change the site description, and you also need to activate the mobile as uh, access, and you also need to do the Google Analytics. And I'm going to show you how to do all those things now. And um, to do that, what you need to do is to come back to more and uh, go to site manage sites. Now, before that, let, let me just point out a couple of things to you. One is revision history. Google Sites is very nice because if you have made some major mistakes, you want to go back to some things that you have 
uh, some changes that you have made in the uh, uh, past, recent past, you, you can do that. It, it saves some of the versions that you, you have done, and so you can go back to it. Um, and then subscribe to page changes. Now, this one is uh, only makes sense if you are working on this uh, website with several people, and you can do that. So, for example, later in your class, if you um, like when in your teaching, you, you want uh, several students to be working on one website at the same time, you, you can have them subscribe to uh, changes and so that one of their team members make some changes to a certain page. Uh, uh, everybody will be notified. And this is the same, uh, this is similar to subscribe to site changes. Subscribe to site changes is any change to any page on this site uh, uh, will be uh, will, will send notifications to everyone who have uh, uh, the rights to, to make changes to this website. So all the collaborators of this website will be notified. And uh, subscribe to page changes it pertains to only one particular page. Okay. Uh, you see. Okay. Um, there, uh, there's a question about um, whether you know IP and T websites is linked to Learning Suite. I thought it is. If you go to Learning Suite and go to our class uh, link in the announcement site, you know on uh, on the right hand side where it says announcements, there should be a link to this class website, and we have to do that this semester is because um, we can no longer access Gradebook independence of uh, Learning Suite. So you do need to go inside uh, Learning Suite to see the Gradebook. Um, and, and so because of that, I, I can't make that default link on the home page. So it is in the announcements area. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So some of you have already helped me answer that too. Okay. Let me show you a, a few more things. Okay. If I go to page settings uh, uh, you there are not a whole lot of things that you can change here um, uh, I, I usually have allowed uh, attachments too so if I have I as an owner or collaborator of this website I want to attach something to this web page I can do that okay let's see what else do we have okay you can preview the site you can print the page Save as template. Templates. Let, let's say you know if you have created a very pretty template page, and and then in the future when you uh create new sites, you want to use that template again. Um, you you, you can save this website as a template. Okay, but most of you won't be doing that. At the site layout, and um, we'll be talking about sharing and permission next time. Okay, but let's go to manage sites now. Okay. Now, this manage sites part is very powerful, and there are lots of uh, things that you can do to make it quite professional. Site name, you already know what it is. Show the site name on top, okay? I want each one of you to provide a description of your site. Because when people search for your site, uh, you know how in Google, it has a site name, and when you search for something, it has a site name, and then a description of that site. This is the part where you type in the description of your site and it will show up if people look for your site in Google. And so I'm going to uh, put in a description for this site to uh, this. Okay. And I hope none of you will, will ever click this button. All right. And then, uh, what's this? Okay. And now, um, now uh, uh, the Google sites give you 100 megabytes to use for this site. Um, you, you see, you know, right now I'm using 1%. Probably less than one percent. It usually use a lot of space if you have a lot of attachments, and uh, and and so if you are attaching a lot of pictures, a lot of documents to this website, you may need to watch out, and you may want to com compress your your documents, make sure they are as small as possible before you upload. If you are really reaching this space, there are two ways to resolve that. 
One is that um, you can you can pay you know you can pay Google to so that it can allow to give you more space. Another way you, you can do it if you are cheap you know educator as most educators are, you know the, the, you know with those high the paychecks that you receive, you, you may want to be a little bit cheap. What you can do is to set up a separate website and then let that website to link you know to your main website. And the, the the new website will also have an additional one hundred megabytes, and and so as long as they are linked together, and then they they have you no know, the same layout to the users, they may think that they are still in the same website. Okay, so this is a cheap way to get through get get around to it. All right, um, the 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 site's description doesn't need to be long. Um, how however long you you like need to be. Now this part is actually very powerful. What it what it is doing is that, uh, like like for me, uh, I have taught I IPT four eighty seven before, right? And so when I develop the websites for this class, I don't need to create the whole thing from scratch. I also do not need to delete my old site. I can leave it there, and, and Google allows me to keep it there forever. All I have to do is to copy the site. What it will do is to duplicate your entire website, and and you can give it a different name and different URL. And so, uh, the, the uh, when you are uh, like like in my case, when I'm teaching this class again, I can uh, don't I don't need to start from scratch. I can just use the websites that I have done last semester, keeping it there, but then make a copy of it and then make changes to the copy, and and so it, it makes it very easy, uh, you know, for for me. Okay, this is a very nice feature. Um, you can configure the search if you have a very large website and 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 tell people how to search uh, in a different way. Okay, now um, I'll come back to this statistics. Uh, Google Master Tool. Most of you won't be using that, and and if you are really into um, the the web mastering uh, the functions, you can come in and uh, they will teach you how to do it. And um, you know, if you want to set up a site in a different language, you can do that too. And this is the check mark I want you to check. Once you have checked it, when people are checking your website um, on on a mobile device, this website will actually customize itself. And for example, it will be hiding the the left. Uh, the, the menu bar on the left hand side and so that it is not covering the entire screen and only when people click on that little uh, you can try on your mobile device uh, click on click a little uh, button then the menu bar will show up and so it is more custom uh, to the, uh, the mobile uh, the, uh, the devices and so I do want you to click that and it's like you know why not it's free okay now let's get to the statistics. This is the more technical things that that, that you you need to learn. Um, once I put in this number, um, Google Analytics will help me keep track of this website. It will allow me to know uh, how many people have been coming to my website, who are these people, where they are logging in, which page they are looking at. It gives me all those backend data. And, and it is free of charge. It is very powerful. In the old days, we actually need to pay a lot of money to get that type of data or do a lot of programming to get that type of data. But using Google Analytics now, uh, it, it makes it very simple. And Google Analytics also work very closely with Google Sites. And so all I have to do is to check that. Um, then, then it will generate this Google Analytics to every page that I have in my site, I don't need to put in some some uh, you know high uh, high tech codes in each one of my pages in order to keep track of it. Uh, if you are not using Google Sites, you you do need to put in some codes in every every page in order to keep track of it. But since you are using Google Sites, you don't need to do that. You just need to click on this check mark. Okay, let's learn more or to see how to generate this this number right here. Okay, uh, after I click uh, on uh, uh, you know learn more, I'll be you know I come to this website. It, it shows me you know how to do search uh, track search traffic and configure uh, Google Analytics for my site. I'll click on configure, and then it gives me a bunch of things. It looks very complicated. Okay, well I'll show you the easier way. 
let's just type in Google Analytics okay in in the search box and then you will go to this website that is google.com slash analytics okay and once you are here you just click on right here on the top right corner where it says assess Google Analytics so you click on that uh, as you can see I already have several websites okay if you you know if you are not not like me you know you don't have your websites here uh, actually I don't see the websites for this class uh, okay I, I know why uh, um, if uh, if you are using it for the first time you know as most of you are um, uh, you all you need to do is to just add your website. You copy the URL and then put it in in uh, Google Analytics and tell them that you, you want to add this website. Um, then it will start keep, keeping track of it for you. Now in my case, what is happening is that uh, I have several Google accounts. Okay, as you can see. Um, if I want to go back to the accounts where I keep track of uh, IPT uh, 487, I may need to log out. Let me go ahead and log out from here and then log in using this link. Can you, you know, you, you, as you can see that, oh, looks like any used my computer before, but I, I don't have the password, you know, so don't worry about it, okay? Uh, but uh, if, I, if I click on this, uh, then I, I can just put in my password and I can have several accounts logged in uh, uh, on the same computer. Okay, so now I can see the information relating to my IPT487. Once you put in the URL to your website uh, or uh, to, to Google Analytics, what it will do is to um, uh, generate a, a, ID, a code like, like this, okay? This is the identifier of your website and it is unique only to your website. It starts like this, UA and then hyphen and then a bunch of numbers. What you need to do is to copy this number and then go back to your uh, 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 Google sites and then paste right there, okay? And then click Save. And from now on, Google Analytics will keep track of your websites for you. And I'll show you the type of data that it, it, it shows you, okay? Uh, it may look a little bit complicated, you know, but it really is not. It shows me, it shows me that in December, um, there are only a few hits you know, on this website. I think you know all those hits are from me, you know. And but uh, at, at late like like today, uh, there are lots of hits. You know these hits are probably you know from you guys, and uh, it shows me you know whether these are new users or returning users. The returning users are probably me, and and uh, how many you know new visits and uh, unique users, unique visitors means um, that people are not using the same computer like, like if I visit my website several times um, that the visits parts may, may keep track of that but it will not show that I'm a u unique uh, visitor because I keep on going to this website uh, from the same computer, from the same URL okay and uh, it probably won't show the demographics yet. The, the demographics is a little bit more complicated. I, I need to put in more uh, 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 coding for, for it. Um, but it can show the, the the languages, you know, of the uh, users. You know, if I'm doing an international site, I may want to know, you know, where people are assessing it. You know, what language that they they use, and location is helpful. It looks like you know all the users of my websites are coming from the United States. Oh, nobody is from outside yet. Okay, well, as as you can imagine, but um, it can also tell me you know what type of browsers that they're using, and what type of mobile device that they're using. 
So if I am uh, creating something uh, more professional, I would I may want to know you know what type of device they are using, and so that I can customize my websites to to those de devices. And um, so information like this is is very helpful to to you, uh, and it is. Uh, uh, it, 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 it can give you very rich data. Uh, you, you can find out at least uh, to the minimum you know, how, um, uh, 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 how much your website has been used by your students and, and others uh, for, for different uh, purposes. Okay. There's actually a place where I can sh see the entire history of my website since its very beginning. Uh, and I cannot remember where it is. Okay. When I can remember, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. It will show me um, all the hits from, from the beginning of the, the time that I start using Google Analytics until now. Uh, okay. So that's another thing that I want you to do. If I go back to my sites now. Oh, I forgot to click save, so I need to be sure to save it. And it says I have an error. Good. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, let's go to this page and let's see if there's anything else that we have to we haven't covered yet. Uh, managing your sites, Google Analytics. Well, it seems like um, we have covered everything that, that we have uh, uh, that I intend to cover today. Let's see what questions you have. Uh, anyone who's confused about how to do oh, Okay, well, thanks for some of the peer instructions that you guys are helping out uh, with each other. Yeah, yeah, it can be kind of creepy, you know, so to speak, that you know how to uh, keep track of who, who are coming to your website. Uh, I think it's creepy in a good way, right? Uh, okay. Uh, one question is that, you know, whether we are going to be um, doing uh, synchronous instructions like this every week, no. Um, is only for today. Um, next week and and all the future, most of the future weeks, we'll be just doing how uh, the the class like like how we have done in the past. We'll we'll be doing it asynchronously. Oh, almost forgot. I need to give you some tests. Okay. Well, we have just a minute left, so I'll give you a test. Okay. I'll are you are you seeing the test screen? Answer the following question. No, it's not working. I don't see the test. Let me see. Oh. Huh. My tests are, are missing. Okay. Well, uh, 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 that, that's okay. That's okay. I don't too, feel too bad about it. I, I just want you to have an experience in, in doing it. Um, the, the test tool is very similar to uh, the poll tool, and it uh, allows you to um, uh, uh, test the, the, the seminar participants, and it will actually keep track of the answers to, to uh, if you need to give an actual score uh, for people uh, how they respond to it uh, they can do that all right uh, let's see any any question okay all right so I think you are all uh, clear on what assignments, uh, what, what you need to do for, uh, for assignments. And um, so go ahead and, and do that.
And if you have any question, feel free to send me an email. This semester, I have a, a new email uh, that is just for this class. And when you send uh, to this email, uh, both uh, Alex and, and myself will be able to uh, receive it. Okay, this is the email address uh, that I, I would like you to use. Uh, and I will put. Uh, I have already put this email address um, in the syllabus, but I'll, I'll put it uh, in in uh, in this web page too, so you can be sure to to get it. Okay, is this okay? Are you guys getting it? Uh, uh, are you are you happy with what you have learned? Uh, do you un all understand? You know what assignments you need to do. Okay, good, good, wonderful. All right. Then I will go ahead and uh, meet you asynchronously uh, next week uh, for uh, in this cyber space. Okay. All right. Thank you for coming in.